Sunday morning in Trinidad. We have trees, we have butterflies, we have sun. Get some orange wine. We get some orange so we can make some juice. So one day? Okay, so right now it's Sunday afternoon it is I don't know what time it is and we're gonna be going to church later on in the evening because we went to bed at like 3 a.m. and could not wake up to go to church at 10 so that's pretty much that sunny Caribbean and I did decide to crochet my hair so I don't have to deal with it I'm just thinking I may end up taking it out. I just kind of feel like rocking my own hair right now. Twist out or something like that, but. Yeah. Can you hear him calling me? My son's calling me on the other side of the door. But anyways, the trees. Got mountains, where are the mountains? Got mountains up there. And we got oranges, fresh off the tree. Okay, so right now I'm redoing my hair. This is such an awkward angle. I did not bring any hair products, nothing. All I brought was because I thought it in case I need to like, tighten anything or redo anything I just brought this and I decided to take out all of the um, cornrow crochets that I have in the middle which you can't really see now but take all of those out and put all of them as singles all of these here in the front I have two rows of singles in the front two rows of singles in the back and I'm going to make everything single because doing the braiding method for the first time doing crochet it brought some challenges on and so doing braiding the hair like this and then crocheting the twist on the hair is much easier much more sustainable for me and it doesn't take that long so i just took out all of the the whole middle section of my hair Let's see if you can see here i took out the whole middle and i'm just braiding these and putting the crochet back on. I have no comb, no brush, no styling, nothing. But my hair is really, really moisturized and really well loved under here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah. Some homemade bread, a little bit of butter, authentic cheese, authentic bake, homemade bake. This is our breakfast, half of our breakfast after our cereal. This is the good stuff right here. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. I'm not ready, but you know, ready. Um, so this morning, I'm just in the bathroom here because the lighting from this window, yeah. So last night I redid my hair. I did singles all around, I know I look crazy. I did singles all around and then realized that I missed, see this? I missed two braids. So I just twisted them in here and I'm hoping I can hide them. I'm gonna have to fix that later, but I have two braids that I forgot and I didn't put any twists on them. So I'm gonna have to just do, I'm just gonna have to fix that. But anyways, this morning, um, my son got sick, he was, throwing up and stuff like that. We think it's because obviously the heat and um, the water and stuff like that. So he's all better now. My husband went to the drugstore to get some 
stuff for him, some medication and stuff like that, um, like Pedialyte and stuff like that to restore his um, electrolytes and all of that stuff. But it's just a mix of, you know, traveling and being dehydrated and the differences in water and stuff like that. So he's all good now. So um, I'm not sure 100% where we're going today, but um, I'm all done getting dressed. I'm just going to go fix the face a little bit. Let me show you guys. Um, so back home, I bought this lotion. It's, you know, off like the bug spray. It's that, but it's a lotion. Um, I'm pretty allergic to mosquito bites. Like I get really, really huge, huge mosquito bites that get hard, swollen, sore and painful. So um, mosquitoes love me. I'm just one of those people who got blessed with that privilege um so i had to buy that lotion i'm gonna take it around with me um you know to ward off the mosquitoes so there's that my arm's tired um i did bring some makeup and stuff to wear but i just feel like it's hot here and like that foundation's gonna be like that foundation's gonna be like seeping into my skin so yesterday we went to church in the evening uh last night we pretty much Yesterday we pretty much slept the whole day because um, we came in at like three um, and so we slept and then we went to an evening service at church and then um, yeah that was pretty much it. So yesterday was pretty chill. So I just wore like mascara, did my eyebrows and just a little bit of powder on my face but other than that I don't really think I'm going to be wearing foundation. I brought it just in case but um, yeah it's going to be, it's, it's hot. Um, so yeah, the temperature is like 31 degrees. It's very, very nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish getting ready and then I'll check you whenever. Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch on my lawn. I don't know where that guy came from, but he randomly just started climbing the tree, picking down some oranges. So this this is a magnificent seven. Oh, this is one. This is one. This one here. I think yeah. yeah okay. This nice. one I think is the next one, but it's on the construction. Nice pride. I didn't read the link. Was what that six? One I think here. Six. And then Stone Myers Castle. Seven. Yeah, right here. Seven. So this is you know, the castle to the end. This is the castle. Here. just finished eating Burger King at the mall, at West Mall, and we're just about leaving now. It is now Wednesday afternoon, and I'm about to have some ice cream on a cone. Stay here, Tobias, and I think we're going to go to the grocery store to pick some stuff up and um yeah do a couple of other things and and yesterday i hit 1k <laughs> so excited so happy i hit my goal i had it written down in my planner that i wanted to reach 1k by the beginning of march but i reached that goal early so i'm really happy excited about that um so yeah we're gonna go out and um it was really cool today and now it's getting hotter so i'm wearing like jeans Wearing jeans and yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have time for me to turn up on a secondary. I want to care of Gina's section to turn up on a secondary. Think I'm time for this? I'm 
trying. I'm trying to be strategic with my vlogging. Can't just pull out my phone any, any and anyhow here. Okay. Yeah. Is like Costco. That is Costco, yes. But yeah, it basically is Costco. has all of the, co every, um, it has a Kirkland Costco brand. Does that make sense? Like Kirkland Costco brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are we going to? Go buy Starbucks. Home, on your way home, there's a Starbucks, isn't there? There's one right here. There's one right here in the same plaza. This is Movie Town. No, the ticket one. It's like Cineplex. Yeah. Yeah, that's movie town. Movie town, the people them selling that their things on the side. We <laughs> tried to record your wife here. Look at that sweet boy. Okay, so we are currently in Starbucks and I can't just work the toilet flushing. Is that weird? So we're currently in Starbucks and I can't like pick up my phone and like record everything because people are kind of weird here about having your phone out and vlogging. So we're in Starbucks, I think there's like two in Trinidad that just came, so now we're just getting a couple drinks and then driving off somewhere else. Alright, we're going to food. They come in our box? Um, I don't even have any more boxes, but we can wrap them up for you in, uh, in paper. Yeah, that would be good. Just uh, just why we, we drive in there. Okay. But it's really good. I think those are really great, like for family who comes from abroad. Mm. Like, That's fine. You have like a British accent. Yeah, I'm actually French. You're, You're French? French. I was born in France, but I grew up in England, and I'm okay. I didn't have French. Well, that's a complicated Jesus, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very multicultural. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Fresh aloe for the hair. Look at this. Fresh aloe, y'all. It's crazy. Let me show you ratchet. So when you see Rasta man cleaning out the hair and thing. Mm. This, this is what they use? Yeah, that's ratchet. Oh. So you break it and it has like almost like an aloe thing in it. Wow. It's slimy. It's slimy. slimy, just like aloes. Oh. And then you have shampoo your hair to turn okay. Good morning. It's Wednesday and um, today's a warm day, Wednesday morning. And we're just going to be going out to. Um, the museum, I think. Yeah, the art museum. We're gonna go to the, the Queen's Park Savannah. And I think we're gonna go to like another place. We're gonna drink some coconut water on the street, hopefully. So yeah, and I'm pretty much 100% positive that I got mosquito bites in my head. Yeah, but nowhere else, which is interesting because mosquitoes love me. So I bought this lotion. I think I was talking about it the other day. I bought this lotion. Um, and I put that on and the mosquitoes, I didn't really get bit. I may have gotten like small bites a couple places, but I'm pretty allergic to mosquito bites and so I didn't get any bad ones or anything like that. So it's working out well, but in my scalp, in my head, yeah, they're biting me there. There's no lotion there. Down south? No. On a slide down the hill. Did you? Ooh, that's slide scary. Slide down the hill, run into a ditch. I had not too long ago. Really? Run into a ditch. Wow. And end up opposite some construction guys. So, you know me, I don't get me not to come out. I tell one of some, them, some of them came to my rescue. I just asked, man, you could drive? <laughs> He's saying it. I say, okay, you're going to drive me out of San Fernando, out of these hills, and I will give you a little something. He said, cool, no problem. Even though the man, you know, and let me see if you'll remember this area when they pass out, because they pass here the other day. Me? Yes. I didn't get past here. You didn't go around the mountain. Not the mountains. Down there where I come out. Let's move up on the station. Oh, you just Belmont. Go a different way. Belmont. Yeah, yeah well, I know that. Exactly. That's yeah. how you used to call it, Denmark Beach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, everybody there, they didn't want to play Superman and Dive. <laughs> so we are at. What is this called again? Mac. What is it called again? <laughs> Macarip. If I zip line, I'm literally gonna scream at the top of my lungs the whole way down. Photo shoot. This is a nice photo shoot vlog. I'm 
literally can't even get myself and the bamboo in the frame at once. But this is something that I really wanted to see. I'm glad I saw it. So right now we're in Marvel. Marvel. They have all of the different food shops. It's like a little plaza. He should be on the border. He needs to be about his father's business. Can I declare to you this evening uh, that listen, every single one of us, uh, we have a divine vocation. Second Corinthians chapter 5, uh, when you begin to read 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, talking about any man being Christ is a new creation. All things pass away, behold, all things become new. Uh. Okay, so today is Thursday. We are just getting ready to. To go out. Um, going out today. It's really nice and breezy here today. I got five mosquito bites on my arm. That's so. That sound is so annoying. I'm so sorry. Um, I got five mosquito bites on my arm. Because I didn't put on my lotion for my mosquito bites. So anyway, so we're going out today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be nice. The days are moving so slowly. So that's a good part about it. It doesn't feel like the vacation is ending really early. So yeah, it's really nice. And now that I have nothing else to say, he's done pushing the chair. So anyways. Finally, the rain stopped. Maracas Beach. So anytime you come to Trinidad, this is where you need to go. Richard, Richard's Bacon Shark, right here. And I would go over there, but I was just over there. You put all your toppings on. And when you're done, you end up with something like this. So right now on my bacon shark, I have tomatoes, cucumbers, coleslaw, lettuce, um, ketchup, tamarind sauce, garlic sauce, and something called shadow benny. And shadow benny is like a green, basically like a green seasoning. And for those who don't know what bacon shark is, the bake is basically the dough, the the bun to the sandwich, and the shark is obviously just the fried fish. 
So it's the most amazing sandwich that you'll ever have and ever come to Trinidad. This is what you need to come for. And this. But mostly this. This is what I came to Trinidad for. last day in Trinidad. This is my last breakfast. Today's gonna be a pretty low-key day. I don't think we have many puns, but yeah, let me just dig into this. Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the warmth, and we'll see what happens. What is he selling? What is that? Like, oh, kind of, yeah. He's setting um, the blinds for the, the blinds yeah, for the sun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and tire, this tire thing. Yeah. But this is our last night in Trinidad and this is pastel. It is wrapped up in a fig leaf. So go ahead and open it and show us how it's done. Okay. So it was frozen and then you we boiled it to like warm it up. And you open up the fig leaf and inside is ground beef and this on the outside is um cornmeal. cornmeal and there's also raisins in some people make it with some raisins, people make it with some raisins. Make it with spicy some people make it with um flour no flour dumpling, yeah. that's like, did you make this one no oh. and that's that i ate mine with cheese which people don't usually do but it tasted really really good so we are back in Canada. And there we go, ice and rain. No sun. When we said zero hours of sun, that's what we were talking about. Off of the plane, we came off the plane. This is what sunrise. What? Oh, 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 so yeah, we're just about to go meet Peyton right now. As soon as we came off the plane, we crossed over onto like the walk when you walk out that tunnel. All of us were like. Ooh. Cold. We expected it to be cold, but we just weren't really ready for it, you know? Everybody say bye!